Good morning, happy Friday. Welcome back to Cooking with Cranberries. I'm Amelia with Cape Cod Select, and today we are making smoothie bowls. But not just any smoothie bowl, because it's a, what did I call it? A <laughs> trop, uh, tropical cranberry bomb smoothie bowl. So what makes it bomb is we've partnered up with Blender Bombs and we are actually doing a giveaway with them. So after this, I will post the giveaway, so make sure you tune in and enter. Um, but Blender Bombs are really cool because they are these like jam-packed with good stuff for you, um, almost like mm, weird little nuggets, if you will. Um, <laughs> let me see, I'll pull one out. But what's cool about them is you can either grab one and eat one as a snack, or you can blend it right into your smoothie, or you can sprinkle it over your smoothie bowl like you would with granola um, to top it off with. So they're like jam-packed goodness. Um, that's the original bomb, and it's got almonds, organic dates, pecans, flaxseed, hemp seed, walnuts, chai seeds, organic honey, aloe vera, organic bee pollen, sea salt, cinnamon, organic vanilla. So it's really just like superfoods all in there for you, and they have all different flavors. So we've partnered up with them for a giveaway that I will post after this. What makes it tropical is our Cranberry Tropical Blend here. Um, this is my favorite blend that we have with Cape Cod Select. It's cranberries, mango, pineapple, and banana, and it's available nationwide in grocery stores. So to kick us off with this smoothie bowl, I have got some ice in my blender because I forgot to freeze my banana. Um, you wanna start with a banana because you wanna have like a nice thick consistency. You do not want to have a runny um, smoothie because it's not really, you're not drinking it. It's you, you're eating it. So some might call it nice cream um, instead of a smoothie. Um, so out of my banana, I have half an avocado here. We're just jamming it with all the good stuff. Um, now I'm going to put in a cup of the Cape Cod Select Blend. And you got this nice mix of cranberries, mango, pineapple, and banana. And then I'm gonna add one of these blender bombs to add some goodness in there. I'm gonna add a little ground ginger because I really like that flavor, especially with the um, Tropical blend. If my thing would, there we go. All right, and then I'm gonna add some protein powder because this is going to be my breakfast. So my protein powder, a serving size um, to make it like a meal is two scoops. Um, I'm using vanilla. You can use you can use any brand you want of protein powder. You don't even have to put protein powder in there, um, but if you do, just be mindful of what's in it. And um, I would recommend vanilla or plain with the tropical at least. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Um, we're gonna start with a very little amount of liquid. I'm using almond milk, unsweetened, very little because we wanna have a big, uh, big, a very thick consistency. So let's start with that and see how well it blends. So definitely after this, I'm going to post, you'll see the smoothie bowl, it's going to be linked to our giveaway. Now we're running with Blender Bomb. You'll have your chance to win our frozen fruit and uh, you'll have $50 gift cards to Blender Bomb to be able to pick out any of the products that you want to ship to you. So the trick with a smoothie bowl is you're going to want to use a spatula to kind of scrape down the edges of your smoothie here. Because it's so thick, it gets stuck to the walls of the blender. But again, you don't want to add more liquid until really if it's necessary. Um, like I don't need to add it yet, so we're gonna keep blending to get this that we want. Nice and thick, um, like ice cream, like soft serve ice cream. Because when you're decorating the top of your bowl, you want to be able to have the fruit on top, whatever you put on top, to not sink to the bottom. And then it almost looks more like a meal or a treat. Um, you can do this for like. Um, Bananas, or chocolate, protein, or whatever. You can really make this almost like a dessert, but like a healthy dessert bowl. 
edges one more time. And if I did remember last night, I would have froze my banana. Um, you want to peel the banana first because it's not fun peeling a frozen banana skin. You peel the banana, put it in an airtight container or Ziploc bag type thing, and then freeze it. Um, so then you get, it it's, gives you that good consistency that you want. But because our fruit's frozen, because we added ice and we're putting in l very little liquid, it's going to have a nice thick consistency. <laughs> If you do get too much liquid, add in more ice and frozen fruit. Um, but be mindful of your portions because even though fruits and veggies are all good for you, you do want to make sure that you're, um, what, how much you're putting in. All right. So. so what's nice is we get this beautiful pink color from the cranberries. Sorry, I'm just trying to get all the stuff here. Um, you get this beautiful pink color from the cranberries. So I'm gonna use my spatula and just kind of pour this in. Can you see? Yeah, okay. All right. So depending on, you know, I would say this makes a big bowl one big bowl, or if you are sharing, you can absolutely do two smaller bowls. Um, I always blend way too much smoothie. Anytime I make it in this blender, I'm always making too much. So I try to do the portion cups when I'm making a single smoothie, um, but this blender is awesome. And I just get to learn my portions. <laughs> but I think I did pretty good with this one. Um, just smooth this out here. So I'm sure you've seen on Instagram like people's beautiful smoothie bowls and like they're so artsy. So that's what's fun about smoothie bowls is you can make them, you know, however you want them to be. Um, I've seen shapes and crazy colors and designs. Um, I'm gonna try to make mine as pretty as possible for you. And try to get like a nice even, not really a swirl here, but flat. There we go. All right, so I have my smoothie bowl, but now I need to decorate. Um, so you want to just put on whatever you feel like. Um, I like, especially for tropical, kiwi. It's so pretty. I'm just kind of layering it. You don't have to make it pretty. Because if you're just eating it and you don't want to take pictures of it, maybe you just throw it all in there and it ends up mixed up anyway as you're eating it. I'm going to add in a couple blueberries because I like blueberries. I got a couple of wilty blueberries. All right. And I'm just doing whatever I feel like. Um, I have seen people do crazy shapes like at Christmas time. Somebody did a Santa um, and it, Halloween, someone was doing ghosts. So if you look up hashtag smoothie bowls on Instagram, you're gonna see so many awesome designs that might inspire you to get creative with yours. All right, now I'm gonna add, all right, I love these little like crunchy, the like coconut pieces. Love them, they're so good. Um, so I'm gonna sprinkle a couple of those on there. For some crunch, you can do granola if you want for crunch. Um, all right, and then I'm gonna put cranberries because it's cranberry tropical bowl. So, I'm 
and like these cranberries are nice and big. All right, and I'm gonna do a little, so I love this, uh, this is almond, no, yeah, almond butter. It's um, coconut almond butter. So I thought it was perfect to go with my smoothie bowl here. And I think, oh, it's just so good with a um, smoothie bowl here. So I um, heated it up a little bit so it was a little bit more liquidy. Um, you can do a drizzle. I'm just doing like... A blob in the middle because <laughs> when I go to eat it I like to mix it in and get all those delicious flavors so this is my final piece of artwork here we have a beautiful smoothie bowl tropical um what do they call it a tropical cranberry bomb smoothie bowl made with Cape Cod Select tropical blend and blender bombs um blender bombs that's just what they're called so with that, we're concluding our cooking with cranberries. Remember to post, um, I mean, to go check out the post on our Instagram page at Cape Cod Select afterwards because the giveaway will be posted and you'll have a chance to win our frozen fruit and $50 towards Blender Bomb's website and you can pick out any of their items. Um, so I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys next week.